Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Let's Play Batman Arkham City. We have community member Brain to thank for this one. She won the Pick an LP prize during the uh, past Extra Life just this past month, where we raised over $3,000 for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So, we have another Batman LP, which means more opportunities to talk about dumb stuff that has happened over the years in Batman comics. Like that time Batman and Damien found a cow and dumped it the bat cow. I love it so much. Uh, Arkham City here is an open world game, whereas Asylum was a bit more of a focused borderline Metroidvania. Uh, it's huge, and the conceit for it is essentially that large section of Gotham has been turned into a prison. Uh, Asylum, as you remember, was loosely based on a serious house on serious earth. You could argue a lot of inspiration for City comes from uh, the series No Man Land, No Man's Land, rather. Look what I found! Don't touch it, man. He'll kill you. How long till the boss gets here? He'll be here. Riley said he saw the bat. Is he here too? Arkham City. Why would he come here? You guys just need to chill the hell out. It's Batman! What the hell? Sorry to disappoint you boys. It's just little old me. Uh, so real quick, that painting above the safe is an homage to, uh, the panel, the really famous panel of Batman holding Jason Todd's dead body after, uh, Joker kills him in A Death in the Family. Also, remember that image because it becomes relevant again later on in the game. So I've never actually played any of the Catwoman stuff. Uh, this is the Game of the Year edition of Arkham City on Steam, so I guess it's just... This is actually really cool how this is integrated, because it's just integrated into the main story itself instead of being a separate DLC campaign. Oh, now that they're all taken care of, it's time to get what I came for out of that safe. Also, I this is always my favorite, like, Selena Kyle Catwoman design, especially with the goggles. Yeah, I've, ne I've never done the Catwoman stuff. This is all right. Try and get one over on me, will you, Harv? I don't think so. Get your filthy paws off that now. Ah! Wake up, Mr. Wade. We have much to discuss. Strange. You won't get away with this. I already have. This is Vicki Vale reporting live from Arkham City, the controversial super prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. In a few moments, Bruce Wayne will be live on stage to explain his sudden interest in Gotham politics. The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one it's to. Billionaire, Vicki. Millionaires are so last year. I assume that you thought yourself untouchable. Well, as you can see, no one is untouchable. Thank you! Thank you, Gotham! Imprisoned behind these walls. Gang leaders are fighting a bloody war in the middle of our once great city. Every inmate from Arkham Asylum and Blackgate Prison has been relocated to this facility. How can this be safe for the people of Gotham? Shut Arkham City down. It's out of control. Shut it down. By the end of tonight, I will be a hero just like you. Batman. Today, I'm starting the campaign to close Arkham City and make Gotham safe again. Remember, Wayne is the priority target. Surround him! Hands in the air, Wayne. We have Wayne. Target secure. I 
feel I should thank you. Capturing Bruce Wayne is so much easier than Batman. And now that we have you, Protocol 10 is ready to begin. It will be my legacy, a monument to your failure. And if you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. Oh, this is really cool. So it's going to go back and forth between the Catwoman stuff and the main story. Let me introduce myself. I What the hell are you doing? You think we wouldn't hear you? God, this whole opening sequence is so damn cool. Sionis, aka okay, Black Mass. He's only referenced in uh, Asylum. I forgot he's actually here in the beginning. You two get out of the way. Wayne, get your ass up here. I hate them. Bruce Wayne. Come on! Smash him in the back. Move up, prisoner! Lower your weapons. Mr. Wayne will not be any trouble. Will you, Mr. Wayne? The cuffs can stay on. We don't want to make things too easy, do we? I really enjoy how this this mirrors the opening of Arkham Asylum, except it's not Batman leading someone else into Arkham, it's Batman himself. Well, Bruce being hauled in. I on your crummy press conference, and now here we both are. I guess that'll teach you to get involved in politics, won't it? Listen to me carefully. When they open the door, do not panic. Stay close to me. Do you think I'm taking advice from some guy who's never even been in a fight? Stay calm. They're trying to scare us. Sorry, man. It's every man for himself. <laughs> this is where shit gets so, so cool. <laughs> All we're doing is fighting via counters, but we're in handcuffs. Uh, I think you do have access to strikes, but yeah, yeah, they're just like hammer fists and elbows. I said, get up. Like double axe handles and stuff. Remember me. I'm touched. Your family destroyed mine, Wayne. This, well, let's just call this good old fashioned revenge. Get him! Get him! God, I love this. Makes you feel like so overpowered right from the get go. So I'm a big fan of, of Arkham City. Uh, and it's it's kind of regretful that it's taken me this long to get around to doing this LP. So again, big thank you to Brain for finally giving me the proper impetus to do this. Uh, I think you can make a strong argument that it's just as good, if not better, than Asylum. I think Asylum is a bit more focused and atmospheric, but mm, there's some contact Alfred from down highs in this game. Him. Including the music, listen to this. 
a cello or a violin going ham. Alfred, have you got my location? Only just, sir. There's more interference than usual. I need an immediate drop on the roof of the Ace Chemicals building. I'm on my way there now. Of course. Uh, anyway, Arkham City was was foreshadowed by a secret room in Asylum. I believe that I showed that off in the Asylum LP. But nobody I knew that that room was there. The was getting yourself arrested a part of your plan all along? Not exactly. Although I did get some one-on-one -on -one time with Hugo Strange. And how was that? Not good. He knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. He also told me that something called Protocol 10 will make him famous. I can't leave Arkham City until I find out what it is. Oh, good old Kevin Conroy, best Batman. Uh, but yeah, nobody knew that that room in Asylum was there until Rocksteady themselves told people about it months after Asylum launched. Uh, it even included blueprints for Arkham City. So they knew what they were doing with this concept for this sequel well, well in advance. into their communications. And we start off with a lot of our gadgets, including uh, this fun little toy, just right off the bat. All units, this is Air Tiger 4. We have confirmation that prisoner 4011 is in the courthouse. I repeat, Catwoman is in the courthouse. Is she in danger? Affirmative. Target is being held by Dent. We believe he intends to kill her. How should we proceed? <laughs> Stand down. Let two face have his fun. Understood. That doesn't sound good. No, it does not. Mr. Dent's predilection for all things binary may not bode well for Miss Kyle. If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. I need to find Catwoman now. Yeah, we, we retain a lot of our gadgets that we picked up throughout the game in Asylum. Which is nice. It's a nice start. Also, I really like this going back. Oh god, the fucking Riddler trophies in this game are out of control. By the way, this is not going to be a 100% LP of this game. Um, one, I think the sheer quantity of Riddler trophies are dreadful. They're like feathers in Assassin's Creed. Don't care for them. Um, there's also a bunch of side quests. We are going to be doing some of those, including one for one of my favorite Batman villains, uh, which is Hush. to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Be here. That's how we get respect. Show them all that we do things. We should be fair, though. This is a place of justice, after all. Screw justice. Kill her, and they'll all fear us. Bring out the defendant! You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, Harv. Hey, have you had some work done? That's for stealing from us. No one steals from us. Oh, I'm sorry I've been a bad kitty. Untie me, and I'll make it up to you. Let's see if the coin thinks you're telling the truth.
This court is now in session. <laughs> Taking out the thug with the gun is the key. Without him, the rest of the room won't be a problem. Fresh faces for the game. Today we present each of you with an exciting new opportunity. Two opportunities. <laughs> to join with us to create a new force in Arkham. So as far as I'm aware... We's gotta go loud now. This section is nuts, especially for being so early. Our first real combat encounter. Oh no, they just flee now. This is different. This is way different. They tone this section down so much. I remember having to fight like every dude in that room. It could also- maybe it's just a difficulty level difference. I can't believe this game is six years old. <laughs> That's nuts. It's still so impressive. Objection. Heads or tails, kitty cat. Which one lets me out of here alive? Not this one. Time to die. I vote for a stay of execution. No gun harm? Shame. This is gonna hurt. Two guns, bitch! And I thought it was cats who have nine lives. How's it hanging, Harv? Come to Kitty. Anyone ever tell you that you're full of surprises? I figured you could use my help, Selena. You're right. I think I chipped a nail back there. Funny. So what do you need, Mr. Detective? Protocol 10. What do you know, Selena? Never heard of it. That's not what I wanted to hear. What about Strange? I don't trust him. He's been missing for years, and then is suddenly put in charge of running Arkham City. Rumor has it he's been working with Joker. Planning something very special, just for you. Maybe that's Protocol 10. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Watch me kill your favorite cat. <laughs> the ex-district attorney here has said something- <gasps> What the hell? This place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? It was Joker. You're not safe here. No one is. Nine lives, remember? I need to locate where the bullet entered the court and where it impacted. We got a small preview of the gadgets, we got a small Cut preview of the open world, small preview like of how the free-flowing combat works, and a small, very, very bite-sized stealth uh, preview. Next time, we're going to be looking at the detective toolkit. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.